Good morning. I'm going to make another video for today. Um, I've already drawn in a little bit because more de detail. And um, so I'm going to start first with some of my darks and uh, I'm going to put them down in here. So I like this. And there's some blue, some blue in there. Like that. And over here is a limb, a branch. And uh, then I'm going to uh, come over here with some more dogs. Down in here. As you can see, this is going to be like a magnolia. I'm going to bring in a little bit of gray in here. Maybe, maybe it's just a blue. Like that. And shake the flower. And then up in here, I'm going to have some uh, colors, more lighter at this moment. And I'll add a, a little bit of blue. That. Over here, it's going to be dark again. Right in here. Like that. Yes, I'm using a smaller breath. And I'm more, kind of more doing a little bit different technique. I was kind of drawn in the, in the blossom and um, they are complicated, you know. I took a picture of this. And uh, it's pretty complicated when you got right down to it. But uh, right in the middle of here, uh, there's these little things coming out like that. And some of them come up like this. Now I have to use a kind of a pale color back here. It's almost a, a yellow, but I want it more pink. Back in here. And um, I'm kind of taking it from a picture a little bit, so. You put that on, and then you can come in and just kind of smooth it out like that. That's the back part. And then down here, it's going to be a little, a little heaven. It's, they have a pink to them, but that's kind of a blue. I picked up the wrong color. It doesn't matter, because it's got to be shaped like, like this. Get my mouth here like this. I am. Um, do these kind of pictures very often because to me I like to splash around you know me and this is more um, different more unique I'm covering up some of this back in here so 
send it back. I decided to show you something different today. Um, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. And this here comes in here like that. All different shapes. Mostly white glass. So you have to have some color on there before you can make it look white. And this is in the shadow. Now this um, next one, I haven't drawn it the way I want it, but it, um, it kind of comes like this. And then there's one behind it like this. I'm going to come in. As I always say, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to get some darkness in here. Um, maybe I'll put a little gold. I don't think that's gold, but I think I picked up red. I just want different colors in here. It's just a bit all over. And down here, in this um, area here, it's like, like this, a branch coming up here, like that. And this is a branch here. Maybe, maybe I have some coming in here. This has got to be darker. Almost dark in this one, this petal. I'll bring in some water, send it back. And this comes down like that. I used to have a magnolia tree. I took all these pictures. But you know, I had to have it cut down because the storm blew half of it away. And that made me very sad. I miss my tree. Now I am he's here there's a shadow. And uh, there's a shadow up in here. That's, that's another leaf back in there. It's sort of like this tube together there. So I'm going to kind of make this fade away a little, a little bit. And that's really fading in. Now it comes right down into here like this. And this is. This over here has to have some color on it. The main, the main the colors are going to be right. I'm going to be using my white today, and uh, there's always a kind of a pinkish. Almost a, a red on him. See over here. There might be a different one over there. I'm getting all these grays down so I can put the white on. And uh, this comes around like this. It's there. Over in here, it's kind of darker because it's 
just gets too slushy for me, you know. I don't like slush. I bring a dark red in there. And maybe I put some else in here, down in here. Maybe it's a So, today is kind of a different technique for you, and uh, I do it in sort of, that makes a start, like there's a limb there, and there's maybe a limb coming down here, one over here, maybe there's several over here. Now I don't have to use my white, but you know, I want to do something with a little bit of it. Um, this is my pretty proof white, and I want to bring in just a little bit of shape right there on the petal. And on this, where the light might be hitting it comes down and is there. There's a, and this is where the, really the white. See how you do? Use the white. So also, I want to leave that really white and uh, kind of come in here. They have a kind of a, this type, type of shape. You know, it's, it's not, it's more like that. of one of another maybe, but uh, it's maybe just a little bit of emphasis on this, but not much can bring in the light like that. I have a little point right on the end. This one could come like this. Leave your eyes around. See? Maybe right here. Maybe right there. And you know, that's just about all I'm going to do to that today. Because if I said it too long, then you're going to have a mess. But I do want to put some orange in here because this does have some orange right in the middle. Maybe a little touch of orange someplace else. You know, you got to think about it. Maybe colors, you want colors to spread this is a warm color, so I'm going to bring it up in here, maybe back in here, maybe a little there. can't see it very good. Maybe right here. You can see it. You can certainly see it here. Maybe up in here. But there's one other thing I think I need to do is because, um, I want to bring in this height like this. A little bit more like that. Same. This could go up a little higher. See a little bit. Let's 
Let's see what it looks for this frame now. I put it in a frame, and uh, you can see a frame does help a lot. But I, for I forgot to tell you today about, I woke up this morning, and I looked in my Bible, and this is what I read. In Psalms 11, verse 4, it says, The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. And then in verse 9, 7, For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, and his countenance just behold the upright. Um, isn't that beautiful? You know, today, as I look up at the sky, it's cloudy, but I know that God's eyes are on me. He's on you. He made you. He loves you. All he wants you to do is love him back. And I do love him back. I do these videos for him. And to tell you all about how great he is. And I hope today that you know him personally. Because if you don't, you're in trouble. This world is not your home. You're just passing through. All your treasures are laid up in the blue. So everything you build in this house, around this world, you strive for, you don't take it with you. You have to go one place or the other. And you know, God wants you to accept him. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever, and you can put your name in there, that whosoever, Believeth in him shall never perish, but have eternal life. Think of it. All you have to do is a gift. God has given you a gift. He has sent his son to take your sins and my sins and die for them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anybody to die for us. We'd have to die, just die. And we all have a soul, you know that goes to heaven, and God loves you. So well, today I hope, I hope that you think about this. Think hard about it, because the road is narrow to, you, to heaven, and God said, He is a way, and the only way to eternal life. I hope that you know Him because the world's getting so bad, so much bad things going on, and he's coming back soon to straighten out this world. He's going to take all of his children back to his home. But if you aren't his child, I don't know what'll happen. You'll be in separated from God. You don't want that, do you? So today I pray. As you watch this video, that you think about these things. And I love you and hope that you uh, are having a, a great day at painting. Because painting makes you happy. It does me. I have a passion for it. I love for it. And that's so wonderful. So I'll say goodbye. And that's enough of my so-called preaching to you. But I want to try to get a close-up first, if I can, of this. And you know, I have trouble with that, don't I? You know it, too. And I know it. It's a little bit of a close-up. Push it over just a little a little bit this way. Then see.
compassion. You just have to be patient. There. Now you can kind of see. Thank you again for watching. I love you. <laughs>